Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Joel Schwartz. I'm a chiropractic physician and I practice in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Today I want to talk to you about the pre-arthritic hip. This video is part of a series of videos called Habits for a Healthy Life series. In these series of videos we teach you simple actions that you can do today to ensure your health far into the future. And the pre-arthritic hip is certainly one of those. Hip arthritis is a very painful and debilitating orthopedic condition. It's also very common and usually results in hip replacement surgery. What I'd like to show you today is how you can avoid hip arthritis and the eventual hip replacement surgery. Hip arthritis is a wear and tear disease of the cartilage inside the hip. Oftentimes people will start to experience pain in the groin a limp when they walk, and oftentimes people will have a limp, especially after they've been sitting for a while. These are some of the symptoms of hip arthritis. However, early in the disease, you may not experience anything at all, even though your hip is actually starting to wear out. As the condition gets worse, you'll see on the x-ray that the cartilage will start to thin out, and it continues to get worse, and eventually you'll have what's called bone on bone on your x-ray with no cartilage at all. And at this point, you have to have hip replacement surgery in order to be able to walk. Now you may be thinking, this doesn't apply to me. I have no pain in the groin or anywhere around the hip. Well, just to let you know, one in four Americans will eventually develop the symptoms of hip arthritis sometime in their lifetime. In addition, hip replacement surgeries have skyrocketed over the last 10 years. In the year 2000, there were 138,700 total hip replacements were performed in the U.S., whereas in 2010, there's 310,800 total hip replacement surgeries performed. In addition, if you can see down here, in the age group of 45 to 54 years of age, hip replacement surgeries increased by 205% from the year 2000 to 2010. Now what can you do to prevent hip arthritis? Well one simple thing you can do is just take a really good look at yourself and look at your friends and family as well. You may notice that one hip seems to be higher than the other. You may notice that you walk with one foot that's turned out. You may notice bow legs or knock knees. All these types of orthopedic deformities contribute to strain that may be going into your hip socket. Also, anyone who's had previous hip injuries, like um, from a motor vehicle accident or sports injuries, these people are more prone to having hip arthritis in the future. But the mainstay of finding out whether you have hip arthritis is to get a thorough evaluation and x-rays. Now, the information you need is, by evaluating you, we can look at the bones in your hip. We can tell whether you have hip arthritis now or you're prone to getting it in the future. The shape of the bones is very characteristic. Some people who have pre-arthritic pre hip disease have what's called femoroacetabular impingement syndrome, and we can see that on the x-ray even before you develop hip arthritis. In addition, the range of motion of the hip of a person who's developing hip arthritis is very characteristic, and we can pick that up on our examination. We also listen, of course, to what you're telling us about the symptoms that you may be experiencing. Well, putting all this information together, the shape of the bones on your x-ray, arthritis if it does exist already in the hip, and your range of motion, we can tell you if you already have hip arthritis or if you're prone to developing in the future. Once that's squared away, we'll put you on a preventive program if you need one. The preventive program helps prevent hip arthritis, and a big, prop, big part of it is an exercise program that's specific to the hip joint. Hip joint's right here. It has many muscles that surround it, okay? And what we wanna do is get those muscles balanced and strong so that you have maximal congruency, stability, and range of motion in this hip socket so the cartilage stops wearing out. Now you can't just do a general exercise program for that. You have to target specific muscles to get them balanced. Some people have weak, weakness of the hip abductors, which are out here. Some people have weakness of the gluteal muscles back here. Some people have weakness of the hip flexors. Some people have muscles that are too tight in the hip. So we have to balance those muscles in the hip optimally, and that's not done with just a generalized program. You need a very specific program. 
In addition, we have to look at your foot, your knee, and your back as well because these areas can put strain on the hip if they're not balanced as well. Sometimes we'll need to give you orthotics for your, or insoles or heel lifts for your feet. And sometimes we'll have to use nutritional supplements, things like chondroitin sulfate and glucosamine sulfate if you're starting to have arthritis in the hip already. So that's what I have to tell you today about pre-arthritic hip disease. I hope that if you've learned something from this presentation. And please, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact me at the phone number you see on the screen here or at the email address. Thanks very much for watching.